Yo dudes and dudettes, welcome back to All the Mods 8 Season 2. Guys, we have the amazing greenhouse behind me. I hope you enjoy. Here is the greenhouse that we've made. Doesn't really look like a greenhouse uh, from this angle, but if we go over here, you can see, yep, we definitely have some kind of a greenhouse aspect while keeping the towers uh, and stuff. But yeah, this is essentially how it's gonna work. I discovered that you can actually pow our, uh, pipe water into these garden cloches from the bottom, and we're gonna line up all of these. There's 19 um, total garden cloches that we can line up per row. Times four, that's about 76, if I'm not mistaken. So we have a bunch of four by four things here, 18 times four. Yeah, it's not quite um, the, the 76, but a lot of these are gonna be duplicates. So we shouldn't need more than these. Uh, and so yeah, these two rows will feed over here. And then these two rows will feed over here. And then we'll run a cable probably to our ME system over there. But yeah, I really like the look of this. Um, I think I'm gonna seal this up over here. There is a wandering trader over here. What do you have for sale, man? Podzol, first sampling, orange spruce. Nothing good, that guy's terrible. But yeah, so this is what we're going to be working on kind of today. Uh, I want to go ahead and get a lot of resources automated. We're also going to be running some pipes up here, uh, similar to um, the one coming out of the side of the house. So what we're going to do is actually cut off this connection here from these windmills. This windmill uh, system is only going to be for our uh, house here. We're going to run uh, two on each side. I don't know if I want to make them on this side, like um, east and west or north and south. I'm pretty sure, actually, I might do three on each. So we'll have nothing here, but we'll have one on this side, uh, one on this side, one on the other side. And each of them will be max tier um, upgraded windmills like that, but those will power our systems here and that's why we have the towers so that it can run on its own but yeah so i'm gonna start making quite a bit of garden cloches we actually need to make some iron seeds like really really quickly so that's going to be really important so we need to make a couple of kinetic dynamos because we need to get the power system started um so let's see here let's get rid of these guys i haven't done a whole lot since last episode um yeah we've just been building that but i gotta make it quick so we're going to make some iron seeds I am probably gonna need to make a couple of these, actually. Um, yeah, iron seeds, this guy here. So we just need the, the third tier essence. So we're gonna start off with just one, uh, which is totally okay. And then we do have a couple pieces of iron, and then we need some prosperity seeds. Uh, oh, cool, we have a couple of these that we can use. Beautiful, so let's go ahead and, and get this started now we can go ahead and create probably a couple of the essence uh tier three of essence because i do have 2.7 and it's raining we have 2.7 thousand of the essence so i can definitely make a couple of these um but we're just going to start off with one here there we go So our iron seeds are completed. We finally have them. We're gonna be automating iron this way. Uh, we're also gonna move all of these guys into there as well. So that will be super nice and handy. Um, yes. So I actually, I think I need to let this kind of go for a second. And what I mean by that is I need the iron to start producing for us. Okay, so we're gonna make a little bit of the farmland. Um, I'm going to put this guy here. This is for the iron essence. And then we can put these in there and it'll start pumping into that. Um, it's not even linked yet, so we gotta do a linking card. But we're gonna wait until it at least grows once and then I'll link it in. Oop, I just opened the trapdoor. And yeah, we'll let it kind of kind of goo so we do need some more iron in the meantime i'm gonna make a total of six kinetic dynamos they're the things that the windmills spin on 
Um, and then I'll probably make the windmills as well. And we're just gonna do, wait, I guess we should do six. All right, so we have the windmills, the 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 windmill sails, the windmills, and the kinetic dynamos done. I think I'm gonna do one on each side. I do want to show you guys a couple of changes I made to the uh, greenhouse here on the inside. I think it looks really good. Uh, we're definitely gonna polish up this front here. This is just a template, but check it out. I added some uh oak drawers with botany pots on top of them hopper botany pots and these are generating wood actually this one is full i don't know why this one isn't full though but that one yeah this one was just hauling interesting i wonder if that one was loaded or something along those lines but anyway yeah i want it we're gonna go ahead and add them here uh we're gonna use uh, quite a few drawer controllers to try to um you know mesh all these together so that they all connect to the system so we might put one like right here and then like one over here something like that but yeah now it's time to set up the windmills on each of these so i'm gonna do oh, i'm gonna do this here and we are gonna make our way up Okay, so we're definitely going down a little bit and the windmills are gonna be a little staggered. I believe we just place it like so. That's actually gonna do pretty good. Oh, 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 skills, I promise I have them. Cool, so you can break a couple of those we click this eight times this guy is all set up and good to go and then that was interesting cool so we have that one set up we'll just have to set up some scaffolding along the inside there we go cool so that thing is on and it's already producing power amazing so cool Okay, now I think we wanna do one on the back and we're gonna do it at the same spot, obviously. So let's do that. I'm gonna put the other ones on and I'll be right back. Okay, so we got all seven windmills up. The only one I didn't do is over here and I really like where this tree is placed. Um, yeah, we'd have to kind of chop the tree down and I don't really wanna do that. So I think seven should suffice. I'm also gonna replace all of this lime uh, terracotta right here with uh, some glass. So the only one we didn't use is, is just one of those. So what we need to do now is set up a, f a few junction points where we can get power from. Um, so we're gonna do that right now. I'm gonna grab a couple of these and these, and we're gonna need a lot of these guys. So let's see, can we make some more? We sure can. Cool, oh, we're out of sticks. Let's make a couple of sticks. Oh yeah, there we go. And we should have enough now. Yeah, way over a stack. Yep, and then let's see. I'm gonna bring a couple of spruce stairs, um, some spruce trap doors. Uh, we're definitely going to bring the engineer's hammer. Oh, it's gone, that's right. Engineer's hammer broke on me, making all of the kinetic dynamo stuff. Cool, so we got one more here. And da -da -da -da. I actually think we'll bring these two. And I guess we can make a couple full blocks of those. Actually, I think these are like this, yeah. So we'll just bring a couple, cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and start wiring everything up and then I'll bring you guys back once the wiring process is kind of done. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna join all, I guess these ones would be three and then we're gonna run it down a little bit and then we're gonna run it across to the middle, which I believe yeah, this is the middle, so we're gonna run it here and then we're gonna run it down. Um, yeah, and so there should be some cables and then we'll kind of have like maybe kind of looking like metal scaffolding sticking out on the sides and that'll be transferring some power. So I think it'll be really cool looking. Okay, so looks like we are in for the most part. Um, yeah, I've got everything routed here for power. Uh, this is really just a rough, I guess, feel of it. I don't know, I should probably 
mirror these because these are both a little different. Uh, we'll go through and edit these up, but all the power is getting to here from the windmills, which is amazing, but we do need to lower them one more um, kind of section here. And I think what I'm gonna do is for these, for these middle ones, um, I will do this. We're gonna mirror it on the other side, don't you worry. And I think we're gonna go like this, kind of a support beam going across. But we have to go to an end here. This is center, no, this is center. So we go here and then all we do is we take the low voltage, we connect it here. So that means this block has power. And then we just click this with the hammer and it becomes our pass through. Yep, feed through insulator. Cool, so now all of our power is here. Uh, I almost wonder if we should just eliminate that middle block there. Uh, and then now, now, hmm. My idea was to run pressure plates, or sorry, trap doors, kind of end to end. These are gonna need some structure. Yeah, so we run them here. Hmm, interesting. I think it's gonna work out, but it's just gonna look a little different than I had imagined. So yeah, we bring it all the way back. One, oops, one more. Okay, and then breaking these guys. We could put some fences along these to kind of grab some structure from up higher. Okay. Yeah, and so what we should be able to do, so I'm gonna put these on the green ones. And we sh oh wait, no, these need to be relays. Sorry about that. Okay, so when they're parallel to the green ones, they get wires, and then the garden cloches will go in up above, or sorry, go in around, and so then we can, oh, can we do this? No. Okay, so this is what we're going for here. Eventually I'll kind of cap this off. We probably won't even be able to see this from here because I might just bring this all the way down uh, over to here and then, you know, kind of just put that there. But yeah, we have the feed through connectors here powering each one of these guys. So everything is good to go. Uh, we're making power. We've got water. Uh, we just don't have anywhere for the items to go just yet. So that's the only thing holding us back. Um, yeah, so I think it's important that we put probably the drawer controller right here in the middle. These guys aren't on right now, so I can grab this dude and we can move it. Um, I'm actually just gonna put this right here and we can kind of put it in, like make it look like it's part of the ground or something like that. Uh, we're gonna have a lot of them, which is kind of funny. But yeah, so let's see here. We can get the linking card. Perfect. Let's go ahead and get some item pipes. And we are going to be replacing these for the um, these guys here. The oh no, um, mechanisms version of the item pipes. These are for fluid. We're gonna use um, their version of the ones for. Oh, we're at a cobble. We're gonna utilize um, their cables or their transport cables because you can see the items and I think that would be a lot cooler look than just item pipes. So that's what we're gonna do. We need 30 of those, or 30 of those guys, perfect. Pipe wrench, let's make another 64. Let's make some fluid cables. Ooh, we're running low.
Okay, so we can take this cable, Oop, and we brought it back too far. That is all right. We're gonna use this for, I don't know, maybe some uh, very specific farm that we need or something along the lines of there. Um, yeah, we'll put some kind of farmland back here. It's not just gonna be empty. Oh yeah, and I did uh, get some night vision goggles, a lucky scarf. Um, G Slugger gave us an elytra that he got when we did the uh, kind of end raid. Uh, I didn't end up getting one, but he did. But he's using jetpack, so he handed his over to me, which was really nice. So we will thank him later for that with a nice gift. But yeah, let's grab the sink from over here as well, because we're probably going to move all these over right meow. So there we go. We got the sink. Yeah, we're, we're definitely going to make that look better. Um, and what I want to do is we're going to put the sink. Oh, shoot. Well, I mean, that kind of works in this scenario. So let's layer all of these guys. These cables we won't worry too much about. And eventually we'll just put on a speed upgrade. Yeah, these are all full. And then I want to connect it like so. Okay, and then we'll go down one more. And uh, actually we don't need to do that. We can just do this. And there we go. We'll put the speed upgrade on this so all of them get water. But these should have water in them. Yes, they are filling up. That's right, you can fill it from the bottom. Perfect. And so then the garden cloches. this boom and then we take our low voltage cable and be careful otherwise I will die <laughs> I've already done it once I got zapped by this but now these have power check it out very cool and so it like these will only be powering these guys in here so we don't really need to worry too much about them and then routing the pipes so Hmm, actually, we might need to move the water to this one back here. Might need to be like this. Well, we do actually need that pipe there. Okay, so the item pipes are gonna go down here. Get rid of that. Cool. So that's kind of set up. Okay. So now the item pipes are good to go. They're routed underneath here and pumping into this guy. We just need to do the linking card and we can set these up. I also want to get the locking card too. All right, we got the locking card. And so what this means is that we can make sure that uh, they only go in the spots that we designate. Perfect. So yeah, these guys are ready to go. They have power, they have everything. So I actually have collected a bit of seeds here. We have nether quartz seeds, copper seeds, glowstone seeds, redstone, emerald, diamond, steel, two iron, uh, that me means five in total, coal, gold, and osmium. So those are gonna be amazing for our system i'm very excited for those so we need to clear out our inventory for now i will be heading back i, I will be doing some pol i'll polish some things up off camera make it look a little bit better than it is but now we need to focus on oh wait hang on we need 
we're gonna be using some of these. So we're gonna take those cables. Those are pretty much everything we need. Cool, so shebang. Those are good. We're grabbing those. We're gonna move the industrial hemp seeds to one of the shelves up here. Um, yeah, 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 this is gonna be sweet. We're also not gonna put one here uh, on the pillar. Um, well, yeah, we'll just have it go to the ones here so we won't have one on these guys, which is okay. Uh, it's a little bit of a bummer, but it'll be fine. So that means all we do now is we're gonna do the iron seeds here. Just like so. Nope, that's not the right way to place them. <laughs> okay, so gotta place them just like this. Cool. Nice. That means that entire row is good to go. Cool. And I don't know what we're gonna do here. We might do a little pillar or something. I am not sure, but we'll make it look decent for you guys. I promise. Or I will. We will. <laughs> it's just me. So, yep, and then we just place these guys like so. Cool, so it means we do have a little bit less in here than I originally stated, but that's okay. We don't need 19 or 76 different seeds going. We might have an entire row dedicated to Inferium, but I don't think we'll need that much. So, yeah, now we just connect all of these guys up. I don't know how many connections this thing can have, but it's the middle ones are gonna have 20. We might need to do something about that. If so, we can just break it up into two and I think it'll be just fine. We'll just add in another relay. But yeah, this is how it's gonna look and I really, really think it's gonna look cool. It's gonna be a mix of everything. But yeah, the seeds are growing. Um, I don't have my hammer or my wrench. There we go. So now all we have to do is set these to extract. Oh yeah. So those are all set up and ready to go, which is amazing. There is a chance we might need some more power, but if we do, I'll just put like a, a power tap and then like if we need a reactor or something like that in here, we can do that. But yeah, now I need to start doing the process of all of the garden cloches we're gonna need and the floor, but these are all set up. Let's get the seeds going too. Um, we need a lot. We need a, a lot of uh, essence. I think we're, I'm gonna eventually upgrade all of these to the Inferium um, or the Supremium farmland. So yeah. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is we are going to start growing some Inferium Essence. That is totally cool. All five of these are going to be dedicated to Inferium. So yeah, check that out. <clears throat> and you know, something we might do is actually just run the item pipes down. And so we can, um, and then like maybe have this go below so we can have a block going through here. So you can actually walk through these sections. I actually might do that. That sounds really good. Sounds um, just better. Um, but yeah, I definitely like it. I might add in some spruce trap doors between these beams up here that I've added in. I think that might give it a little bit more just realism and structural integrity and then probably do some fence gates here to make it look like it's supporting. Okay, dudes, so I've done a little bit of work here since the last clip. It's actually been a couple days, um, but yeah, so check it out here. We put a floor in. Uh, I have these switched over to the advanced logical transporters for mechanism. These are really cool. You can see the items coming out of here when they grow. I just think it gives it another um, just kind of in-depth feel, so to say. I went ahead and put these spruce bridges in between the slots here. Uh, yeah, and I did put the other side in. Each of these are all connected up. There is a lot. I am surprised that these can hold up to 20 connections. Um, yeah, because we have five, uh, four, let's see, five, 10, 15, 20. So yeah, check it out. Uh, this one's about to grow. 
you should be able to see it. Yeah, so it just gives it another little layer of depth, which is really, really cool. Uh, eventually, we're going to put all of these in here. Uh, we'll have them all lined up, but check this out. We have some, I set up some uranite seeds. We've already got 2,000 uranite essence, which is amazing because we will more than likely transition into power. Um, and yeah, we have a way to automate that. So we have coal automated, we have redstone automated, we have uranite automated. The only thing we need to automate is ice, um, the dry ice, which we can actually make. Shouldn't be too difficult. We set it up on season one of all the mods eight. So that's gonna be amazing. Um, yeah, we'll probably put the power reactors in these little cubbies here and then run the power around them. Um, yeah, and I think those will work just fine. It'll still look like it's powered from the windmills. Each of these will still have it, but this is, I believe, at its limit for what, let's see, these, oh, these aren't connected. Let's see, this one is, but this one is not connected. Oh, I think it got disconnected somehow. But anywho, yeah, this is set up. It feels really good. Back here, we're actually gonna set up a harvest pylon in the middle here, and we will have, I'll probably, lower like put this one here too but we'll have our super special seeds that require insanium um yes uh this essence here the insane insanium essence so uh, for like the nitro crystals i believe to grow these yeah you need the crystal flux below so this is where we're going to have all of these like super special seeds set up because i don't believe we're able to do anything like this with the garden cloches at all um oh wait you actually might be able to so you just use this for the farmland interesting interesting okay so we might actually be able to use that i'm sorry i didn't think this was an option because i remember i checked it earlier on one of the other ones and it didn't give me anything um at least i didn't think it did i guess we can make a dragon head and a dragon egg chunk and you can make a dragon egg. what's the dragon egg used for miniature end dragon egg hive and dragon death nullifier Ignores conditions, ignores spawn conditions. Oh, that might be good. That might be really good to have. We can also make a draconic evolution, draconic, draconic infused teleportation core, which requires elemental craft, which we're not in. And then the draconium B, what do you do? We get dragonic dust, in which we can make an egg or productivity, but I don't think we're gonna utilize bees because we already, automating our resources with garden cloches, which is really cool. Oh, and then the other thing too, I did chop down this tree and put on another windmill because we just couldn't generate enough power, but now we're able to, but this is a little lacking. So what I might end up doing is put a power reactor like in here and then keeping this one on the end and then the other one on the end over there and then getting rid of the other ones. Um, that might be the best bet for us. But yeah, guys, uh, this has been all the mods. Season 2, Episode 5. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, please make sure to hit that like button, guys. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. But this has been Super Turtle, and I'll see you all in the next video. Take care. Peace out.